What's going on guys in this video we are going to be reviewing UGC portfolios So I think I have nine portfolios pulled up I'm gonna go through each one of them live review everything in here I'm gonna point out some possible mistakes what some of them are missing and hopefully this can provide some Inspiration for you as you are going through and you are creating your own portfolio now I do want to note that all of these portfolios that you are going to be seeing are gonna come from our Academy members, so I made a post the other day. I said hey who wants a portfolio review? We had a bunch of people drop them in there and so the Academy is a community of content creators mainly UGC creators where we help them scale their income through UGC influencer partnerships and also digital and affiliate products We do live calls twice a week live trainings. We have guest speakers as well We've helped tons of content creators scale past ten thousand dollars per month If you guys are interested in the Academy, I'll leave a link below right now We are doing a ton of of bonuses for new members right now uh, Depending on when you are watching this I'll leave that link below if you want to check it out But let's jump on in so I haven't reviewed these yet So I'm gonna do this live. So the first one we have is Savannah So let me just quickly scroll through the whole portfolio All right, so the first thing that kind of comes to mind is I'm, I'm not a huge fan of like the, the overall just like monotone um, also the featured work section right here. I would definitely recommend having way more than four videos um, If you're a brand right that's coming to check out your portfolio The main thing that they're going to be looking for are some video examples So I would highly recommend having more than four also Typically what I would love to see under the featured work is like a little detail um, about you know either what type of video it is or what type of product so I would recommend eight at a minimum um, but really like 16 would be even better and then some type of description below typically about the product and also the type of video because a brand might be coming in maybe they're like a health and wellness brand and they just want to see other health and wellness videos um, I love this right here you have all the brands that you've worked with kind of this like uh, animated bar. That's awesome. The testimonials are great um, Overall, it, it feels like a little bit bland. I don't know if I love this like scrolling images up here um, The other thing that I would recommend getting in here is going to be some type of like case study or some type of analytics uh, also, maybe some like links to your uh, your social media accounts as well. There's nothing that's referenced in here. So you got your email at the bottom I would maybe make this a little bit bigger um, And probably put this up here too because that's another thing that brands are going to be looking for right? They might see you on social they click through to your portfolio and they're just looking for the email So we want to make it easy for them. I would just put that like front and center right here All right, let's jump to the next one uh, Love this love this love this intro right here like a nice bright Photo your name content creator plus influencer Cool about me uh, Again, this is really good nice bright photo and then you have some statistics right here. Awesome. So far you got your email I love the little use of emoji right there um, Also, I like how the about me section is just like super short and to the point I don't love like these huge about me sections Overall everything looking good so far You got some logos in here. That's great Okay, so yeah, here's here's kind of what I was mentioning before right where you want to have some type of like description Below each one of these videos so that way if I'm a brand right and maybe I don't know Maybe I'm like a pet company. I can come in and I can see okay. I'm gonna want to watch that video um, And I can really figure out like what video is what so I don't have to watch everything And I like too how you have on the side like these are all ads um, You might just want to maybe put that at the top because it's a little bit hard to see but I do like how you have things all separated ASMR videos Restaurant reviews you got food videos cool photos look nice um, The photos I think you could probably tighten it up make this section like a little bit closer everything a little closer together Client love this is cool The layout here feels a little weird to me like this being a little higher this being like You know not the same alignment there would maybe tweak that a bit um, but overall everything looking good so far you got different rates different bundles cool infinite ads raw footage love that And then let's connect. Yeah overall really really good The only other thing I would add is if you have any type of case study 
I would get it in here, right? Case study or some type of just like um, analytics, right? Let's say this video got like half a million views. I would put that in here. That to me feels like the only thing that's missing. Like I love that you have these statistics in here, but if you have anything along the lines of like ROI that one of your videos got for a client or uh, just overall impressions, anything of that nature, would definitely love to see that in here. But overall, it's a really good portfolio. All right, next one. Uh, UGC portfolio, Victoria. So I don't love this intro page right here. It feels a little a little bland, a little basic. Um, if these videos had like some crazy views or something, you could put, you know, like, you know, 1.5 million views or whatever, make it like pop a little bit. But yeah, it feels a, it feels a little bit basic. I like that you have your, um, your email in here. I would recommend too if you know if you got uh, you know a branded email as well because it looks like you know you have your own domain. I would recommend getting that if you could. Hello, I'm Victoria here to help brands reaching their content goals. Um, so to me, this feels a little bit generic so far. It feels a little bit bland, a little generic. All right, so your content examples. I like how you have. The info below, um, I would recommend getting more than six if you can. Content types, yeah, this feels unnecessary to me too. Um, a brand is kind of just gonna assume that you can do all of these. Also, these kind of give like stock photo vibes. I would just get rid of this section in general. I don't think it's necessary. Creation process, um, I don't think that this is necessary either. It's fine to leave. Uh, this I would definitely get rid of the content types. Creation process might be overkill. That's featured packages. This is good. Yeah, that's really good. Um, yeah. So overall, I think it's just missing more more content examples. You, I don't think you have any of your socials linked up in here. That would be great to see those as well. And then, yeah, any type of analytics, any data, any case studies, that's something that they'll definitely want to see in here too. All right, Deb. So I like this homepage right here. Years of experience, strong related to camera presence, make videos. Cool. Work with me and you got your email. Nice. Collaborations. Cool. You got all the logos. My work. Like how you have these outlined. Um... Only five videos overall, would love to see more than five in there. Photo gallery, that's nice. About me. What my clients say. And some packages and rates. Okay, so this one, this portfolio is fine. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite one, but overall it's decent, it's decent. Um, you guys are probably picking up on a trend here, but I would love to see case studies and analytics. Like those are going to really move the needle when a brand comes to your portfolio and they check you out. If you can get any of those in there, it's going to go a long way. All right. Let's check out Emily right here. Hi, I'm Emily, UGC creator. Um, it feels a little bit cluttered to me. Love this picture here though. It does feel a bit a bit cluttered with like this UGC in the background, but overall it's fine. Um, why me? So you have a little intro video here. That's awesome. I'm a big fan of when people have these intro videos. Four years content creation experience. Um, grew my personal brand to over 120K. Eight years of acting. Okay, cool. It's a good little intro. Love this. Case study number one, over 34X ROI. This is amazing. Um, all of the previous portfolios when I was saying, hey, would love to see a case study or some type of analytics, this is exactly what I'm talking about right here. So this is perfect. It, it does feel a little bit crammed. Like I think you could you know, make this section like a little, little bigger, give a little bit more space, just like visually. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is perfect. The 34X ROI, love that you're highlighting that. Um, you have the screenshots in here. You have the actual video. This is awesome. Previous clients and what they say. Yeah, same thing as above. It, it feels a little crammed. I think you could like spread this out a little bit. Your brand here. Oh, you got the testimonials sliding too. This is awesome. This is awesome. Looks really good. Short form video examples. Health and wellness. 
nice. And then you have you know the type of brands under. That's cool. Awesome. Case study number two. Um, 7.7% click-through rate, comparing it to the industry standard, thumb stop rate. This is awesome. So you have the statistics, you have the industry standard, you got the video, and you're showing the testimonial too. This is awesome. Love that you have these case studies in here. All right, so we have some more examples. Love this. You have a ton of different examples. Another case study. This is amazing. Uh, 2.7 million views. Uh, how we generated 2.8 million views on a single video. This is awesome. This is awesome stuff. Imagine if we got this many eyeballs on your brand. I love it. I love it. More examples. More examples. Pets. Book a call. Cool. My process. This is nice. Okay. This is awesome. All right. In my mind, this is the best portfolio yet. Um, you have a ton of different examples. I like the layout and I absolutely love all of the case studies in here. That's what brands are going to be looking for, right? When they come to your portfolio, what they're really thinking is, hey, can this person get me results? So if you can show that you've gotten other people results before, um, it's just going to make it so much easier for that brand to reach out to you and to work with you. So yeah, overall, this portfolio is awesome. Uh, it's my favorite one yet. All right, so let's go to Jess. So, okay, I like the first page. Um, Maybe it's a little bit crowded, but overall pretty good. Hi, I'm Jess, UGC creator, multiple niches, creating conversions. You can count on me to deliver quality content. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of these like kind of just like very like general bios, but it's fine. Um, so let's see. All right, cool. You have the ad examples, organic examples. So it looks like these buttons might not be working correctly. They're all just taking me to the ad examples. So that's something I would work on. But let's check these out. So yeah, I love that you have the brand and then kind of the category. That's great. You got a bunch of different examples. So you have the ads, you have the organic. Cool. Photography. I like this section. I like how... Um, I like how you put everything in like a nice rectangle here. I like that layout a lot. This is cool. I like this a lot. All of your clients, your brand here. Nice. Yeah, overall pretty good. Um, the main thing that's missing is just gonna be some analytics, right? Some data, some type of case study in there. If you have any videos that got, you know, 100K plus views or whatever it might be or I don't know, maybe you grew your TikTok to 50,000 followers in X amount of time. Like, put that in here. Um, these brands, they're going to want to see some type of data as well. All right, Roxanne, helping brands reach their ideal clients through captivating content. It's fine. Again, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of just like the kind of like very generalized bio, but it's all right. Um, love all these logos on here, brands that I've worked with. Cool my work uh product demo product demo nice all right so you have the kind of type of content and the category that's all good i would maybe get a couple more examples in there if you can like nine is fine uh but i would love to see maybe a little bit more client feedback that's perfect i like the layout here this looks super clean love the photos too looks super clean Okay, I like this. You got the demographics. You have your followers. A little bit more about you. I like that. I like that you have like some of these things bolded as well. Uh, it kind of just like pops out exactly what's going on. All right, yeah. So overall, pretty good. Again, common pattern across the board. Would love to get some type of case study in there. That's the biggest thing. Um, that's also one of the biggest things that we just see across the board with creators in general not having case studies in their portfolio. Uh, something that I would highly recommend getting if you can. Melissa, okay, love this intro, nice bright photo. This is, see, I like this right here. Um, instead of saying like, I'm a UGC creator and I make converting content to captivate an audience and to uh, be authentic, right? A lot of people just put that and it's like, ah, that, that, that says nothing, right? It's like super generic. Uh, this is like way more specific, right? Three languages, two children, one mission, sell your products. I like that. And then you got your email right there. Again, if you can get a professional email, it's a little bit better. 
Uh, brands I've worked with, that's perfect. Portfolio, this is cool. I would, I would see if I can get like a second layer of description in here, right? Like organic, maybe you wanna say organic and like health and wellness or organic and uh, I don't know, pet content, right? So the brands can uh, know a little bit more about which videos they should watch because realistically they probably won't watch everything. They just wanna watch the videos that are gonna be relevant to them. Uh, so you got nine overall, which is fine. Would love to see maybe a little bit more. Let's get started. Fluent in English, Spanish, Japanese, pretty good, okay. Then we got all of the photos right here. Really nice photos, I like that. Uh, you got your packages, this is perfect. Connect with me. Overall, pretty solid. Um, I would try to add a couple more examples if you can. Maybe add a little bit more detail. And then like most of these other portfolios as well. Let's get some case studies, let's get some analytics. All right, let's jump to the next one. Love this homepage right here. This just kind of gives me like the feel for your personality, the feel for what you do um, without having like a ton of text. So I like this, like that homepage. Some brands I've worked with, super cool. I love these intro videos as well, huge fan of them. You have some uh, testimonials right here, that's awesome. UGC samples. All right, so I would just put some descriptions underneath exactly what these are. Um, so it's good you have unboxing, but I would put, you know, unboxing, uh, looks like this is like a stroller or something. This might be, I don't know, something like furniture, right? Just a little bit more detail on that. Um, ton of examples, that's awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, this is awesome. This is awesome, this is awesome. I would move this higher up. Uh, and if you have more videos like this, that's like, you know, 1.5 million, let's get those at the top. Like, you know, literally right here. Um, I think that's more powerful than this, to be honest. Um, like this screenshot is good, but I would put, you know, Boom, here's a video with 1.5 million views. Boom, here's a video with 700,000 views. And like circle those, highlight those. That's crazy powerful. Like this stuff is awesome. I would get this higher up. Uh, that's super powerful. Okay, you got a case study. This is awesome. Scale to brands account from zero to 50,000 followers in less than four months, all organic. That's awesome. 2.8 million views, uh, 20,000 profile views. Super cool. I would... I would probably bring this higher as well because uh, this is pretty powerful. And I would bold some of these things, right? Like 28 million views, 50,000 followers. Like I want that to pop out a little bit more. Um, like if we go back to where was, yeah. So like this right here, for example, I love this case study, right? Boom. Like the things that you really want to see pop out. 34X ROI, boom, super bold. Uh, this like 7.7% .7 click through rate, super bold, thumb stop rate. I would just try to incorporate that right there. Uh, product photos looking good. Who wants to watch ads? Starting rate, awesome. Um, okay, let's talk, cool. Overall, really, really good portfolio. I like this one a ton. Now real quick, if you are a UGC creator, I wanna share with you our free platform where you can find brands that are looking for content creators. So we have literally hundreds of brands on the platform right now that are looking to hire content creators. It's super simple to get registered. If you just go to brandsmecreators.com, you create a pro, uh, portfolio real quick, and then you can view all of these different brands that are looking for content creators. You can go in and you can filter by different country, different age range, the budget, and then it's a simple apply, right? You hit this apply button, you type in the message to the brand, it'll send it over to the brand. Then if the brand is interested in working with you, what will happen is we will connect both of you via email, right? So it's designed for long-term partnerships. It's designed to get you off the app, talking with the brand directly so you guys can work together for the long term. So I hope this video was super valuable. Hope you guys got some inspiration for your UGC portfolios. Go ahead, check out the Brands Me Creators platform. And if you're interested in the Academy as well, I'll leave a link to that below. And I'll see you guys on the next video.